In this video, I'm going to show you a couple things that I picked up at my local thrift stores just to kind of give you an idea of what you can pick up at thrift stores to sell on eBay and make a lot of profit. But if we're just meeting, my name is Charles and my mission is to help 10,000 people create a full-time income online. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and without further ado, we're going to get into the video. So like I said, this is going to be a quick little thrift store haul um, just to kind of give you an idea of what the what things that I look for at the thrift stores and things you can look for as well that's going to give you a good turnaround on profit so first up I'm a video game seller so we're going to start with the video games I picked up Need for Speed Most Wanted um, I got this from a Salvation Army the price I paid for it was a dollar I got it because it was a dollar um, I can get it probably about fifteen dollars on this free shipping and um, it's a black label so those are a little bit more valuable than the red label. The red label are the games that have sold a million copies and then PlayStation or any other company releases the greatest hits. Um, this is the original first run, black label. And again, $15 on that. <clears throat> um, next up, I found this one at also at a Goodwill. This is Warhawk. For the PlayStation 3. I've actually never even heard of this game but I scanned it. It's going for about $20 so I picked it up. $3 on the pickup here. Next up another $3 game. We have Lego Jurassic World. Lego games are very popular um, especially around Christmas time. Um, good for the younger kids even though this one is rated E for teen. Um, this is great for younger kids, um, very good puzzle game, so Lego Jurassic World. Also probably get about $15 on that one as well. Next up, I found a copy of, this is for the PlayStation 1, it is Oom Jammer Lammy. Never heard of it, but it's a PlayStation 1 game, so those are, those are a little bit more valuable. Um, it is complete, and I paid a dollar for it. And if we can see the back of it, there's no scratches. I got to clean it up a little bit, but all in all, pretty good pickup. Paid a dollar for it. Another $20 fine there. And then the last game I'm going to go over here, pick this up at actually at a Walmart. Um, in the clearance section, we have Farming Simulator 18. Paid $5 for this. Um, comps were going for about $20, so it was worth the pickup for me. Um, I've never played any of the farming sim simulator games. People who have played them like them. So hopefully someone is looking for the 18 version. They release one about every year now. So we're on this one. It's a couple of years old. But it still has a lot of value. And that's a sealed copy. So that's always good. These next few items I actually got at Savers. And... Um, I bought them in a little bag. They were it was a $3 bag. Um, I picked it up for these Pokemon cards. I'm trying to get into the Pokemon resale game. Um, Pokemon cards are very valuable if you know what you're looking for. So I'm just trying to get into that game. But this was just a little booster pack. I saw it bundled with these other items that I have. But I just picked it up because I saw the Pokemon cards in it. I looked, uh, I looked up some of these cards. None of them really have value. Um, there's a card in here. It is a... I mean, if Pokemon's your thing, this is a reverse Holo Lucario. Um, this makes my money back on the bag. And it goes for about $3. Also in that bag with the Pokemon cards, I got this game. It's called Brave or Drunk. Um, I don't know anything about it but it was essentially free with the Pokemon cards it's sealed um, I have not listed it yet comps are running for about $15 so I'm gonna get that listed hopefully I'll sell it for that $15 and uh, that's some good profit especially since I didn't want it and the last thing that was in that bag is this thing and this is a rain gutter regatta boat kit um, I don't know if anybody plays with boat kits in the rain gutters anymore since the It movie, but if they do and they want it, here you go. 
I looked up comps. There were not really any comps selling on this. Um, but again, it was a free item with the Pokemon cards that I already wanted. So I am going to list it. We'll see what happens there. If it does sell, that's great. If it doesn't, whatever. These next few items, I found them all at Goodwill all on the same day. Um, I usually don't find as many things at Goodwill, but I don't know. I just went on the right day. They were putting stuff out. It just, it just lined up perfectly. So first up, we have a Street Fighter Ryu Pixel Bricks. Um, it's just a little Lego set for Ryu. Um, there's a new Netflix series called High Score, and one of the episodes, it talks about Street Fighter. Um, the, the series is about video games and, the, you know, their popularity. So, one is about fighting games, Street Fighter is one of the episodes, and Mortal Kombat and all those. So, popularity of Street Fighter, I think, is going to boost a little bit. Also, if you have PlayStation Plus... Next month, they are releasing Street Fighter V as part of the PlayStation Plus game. So, I think I'm going to get some money out of that. And if I don't, Ryu happens to be my favorite Street Fighter character, so I can just put it together and put it on the shelf. The next item I got was a LEGO DC Comics Super Heroes little car kit. Um, I picked it up. It was a dollar. I picked it up because one, it was LEGO, and two, is DC. Um, over the weekend, DC, they released all their new movies coming up. There's a new Wonder Woman movie coming up, so getting, getting in on that popularity with this item. And the next item I found, again, all at the same Goodwill, say Freddy Krueger figurine here. Um, the company is Mezit, Mezits, I guess, I don't know, never heard of them, don't care. Um, but it's a little Freddy the Kr Freddy Krueger vinyl, and um, since since Halloween is coming up, I thought this is a good pull. This is a good pull. This is the newer Freddy Krueger. This is not the original one. This is the remake, the the one from the remake, which I didn't like. Comment below if you did like it. I didn't like it, but. Hey, it is Freddy, Freddy Krueger, and he has his iconic hat, his claws, so that's going to be a good item to sell for Halloween. Um, that one actually, comps are selling for $40, so hopefully I'll get around that much. Um, I'm going to list it for about $30, since there's a little dent in the box right here, and if it's a collector, I know that's going to make a difference, so... I'm going to undercut the market a little bit just to get that sold. Next item I found, and this was right by the Freddy Krueger. This is a Doctor Who Yahtzee game. Um, for collectors, 50th, and, 50th anniversary, new in box. Um, comps on this, they go for about $50, $40. So that is a good pickup. I paid $3 for it. I know nothing about Doctor Who, but I know people love Doctor Who, so that's going to be a good pick. That's going to that's a good pull right there. The next two items I'll show you together, still same Goodwill. Um, this one is going to be two plushes. We have a Pikachu and a Squirtle. These things are about I don't know what you say, 15 inches, and Pokemon plushes are something to always be on the lookout for. Squirtle's tail is moving but that's okay um if you're gonna pick up plushes pikachu is one that it's a hit or miss just because he's so common he's like the main pokemon character so anywhere you go any store you'll go to we'll have a pikachu squirtle on the other hand a little bit more rare yeah he's a starter pokemon but um you know if a, if you're in a small town you're gonna have a pikachu before you have a squirtle so those are good. Um, about $20 each on those. Oh, we're still going. I got a lot of stuff just from one Goodwill. The next up, I got this little bundle. And I'm not going to take it all out of the bag. But um, we have $4 on this bag. And what it was was two Wii remotes. And with the 
Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the bag, don't worry. So we have two Wii remotes. They have the Wii Motion Plus with them, so it's not the Wii Motion Plus Wii remotes, but they have the, the jumper pack with it. So makes it a Wii Motion Plus. And then I also got two um, steering wheels. They go good with Mario Kart. Um, I'm gonna wait until I get Mario Kart on this one and sell it as a bundle. Um, if you if you have Mario Kart with it, you can sell the steering wheels and the game for about forty dollars. So I just gotta wait for the game. And then we have um, the the controllers. They go for about fifteen dollars each. And then there is also which I'm not taking out one nunchuck, uh, Wii nunchuck, and then a sensor, and that's a that's a OEM st um, sensor. If you're getting any value out of this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and stick around to the end of the video where I will put out the totals of what I paid and how much and how much everything's going to sell for. So my last item is going to be this Scrabble. Uh, this is the sealed version of Scrabble and um, deluxe edition. The year on it is 1989. It's actually after I was born, so there's that. But 1989 version of Deluxe Scrabble. Um, comps on this go for about $70. Um, but the thing is, the comps on this, they were not sealed. This one's sealed, so I can list it higher than that. Um, I'm probably going to go about $90 on this guy. See how much it sells for. Um, of course, with all my items, I always put best offer, and then I set like a little, um, I set a minimum offer. So, so yes, I do take lower offers, but hopefully I'll get around asking price on this. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you got any value out of this, out of this video, make sure to hit that like button. And um, as promised, here are the totals on the screen now. And if you want to watch another video from me, hit the screen here or here, and I'll see you in the next video.